Hello and welcome. These are the CDL General Knowledge Test questions and answers. Questions number 51 through to 100. So let's get started. 51. What are two factors in knowing when to shift? Using engine speed and road speed. 52. A pre-trip, pardon me, a, a pre-trip inspection should be performed before each trip. Again, 52. A pre-trip inspection should be performed before each trip. What is a vehicle condition report? A list of problems found by you. 54. What may rust around the wheel nuts mean? The wheel nuts may be loose. 55. Wheels and rims that have been repaired by welding are not safe. 56. Exhaust system parts should not rub against fuel system parts tires, or other moving parts of the vehicle. 57. If the cargo container, pardon me, if the cargo contains any hazardous materials, you must check to see if placards are required. 58. To keep your vehicle from rolling back when you start up, you Partly par pardon me, partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off the brake. So again, 58. To keep your vehicle from rolling back when you start up, you should partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off of the brake. 59. As soon as you see your trailer getting off the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. Again, I'll read that again. 59. As soon as you see your trailer getting off of the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. 60. When traction is poor, as in rain or snow, your speed you speed up. This is a question. When your traction is poor, as in rain or snow, you speed up very gradually. Sixty-one. When backing a trailer, you turn the steering steering wheel. Again, sixty-one. When backing a trailer you turn the steering wheel opposite to the direction you want to go 62 when backing a trailer you may make corrections to reposition your vehicle by pull-ups you're basically pulling the vehicle forward so you can make corrections so 62 when backing a trailer you may make corrections to reposition your vehicle by pull-ups 63. Whether backing a straight truck or a combination vehicle, you back and turn towards the driver's side. Again, that is toward the driver's side. Uh, and that's the side that you're sitting on. Okay, so 63 again. Whether backing a straight truck or a combination vehicle, you back and turn toward the driver's side. 64. If you are helping, uh, pardon me, if you are using a helper when you are backing, the helper should agree with you as to a signal for stop and stand where you can, uh, and stand where he can be seen by you. Okay. Again, 64. If you are using a helper to help uh, pardon me, if you are using a helper when you are backing backing your truck 
the helper should agree with you as to the signal for stop and stand where he can be seen by you. 65. Some newer vehicles have progressive shifting, which means the RPM at which you shift gear uh, shift becomes higher as you move up the in the gears. Let me repeat that. 65. Some newer vehicles have progressive shifting, which means the RPM at which you shift becomes higher as you move up in the gears. Uh, uh, 66. Downshifting requires knowing when to shift. To do this correctly, you should use either the, the tachometer or the speedometer. Again, downshifting requires knowing when to shift. To do this correctly, you either use the tachometer or the speedometer. 67. Before starting down a hill, you want to be sure that you are in the proper gear. Question mark. Again, 67. Before starting down a hill, you want to be sure that you are in the proper gear. You downshift before you start down the hill. So, before starting down the hill, you want to be sure you are in the proper gear. Gear, And to do that, you downshift before you start down the hill. 68. When going downhill in a vehicle with an automatic transmission, select a low range to get greater engine braking. Sixty nine. When turned on, brake retarders may uh, brake retarders apply their power whenever you let up all you let up all the way on the accelerator pedal. So again, sixty nine. When turned on, brake retar retarders apply their power whenever you let up all the way on the accelerator pedal. Okay, 70. Besides looking for vehicles coming into your lane, looking for traffic means, watching for brake lights of slower, of slowing vehicles ahead. So besides looking for vehicles coming into your lane, looking for traffic means, watch for brake lights of slower or slowing vehicles ahead. 71. Besides watching the traffic by oh, um, oh, we haven't done this. Besides watching for traffic behind, behind your vehicle, you can use your rear view mirrors to watch for possible tire fires probably on your own rig huh okay uh, 72 when in turning in turning your vehicle you should look in your mirrors to make sure that the rear of your trailer is not uh, will not hit anyone so when you're making a turn you should look in your your mirrors to make sure the rear of your trailer is or will not hit anyone 73 when merging with other traffic you should use your mirrors to make sure the gap in the traffic is large enough for you to enter okay so when when merging with other traffic you should you use you should use your mirrors to make sure the gap in the traffic is large enough for you to enter into the stream of traffic with your vehicle. 74. To be sure that you know what is happening on the highway ahead of you, don't focus on your mirrors too long. If you're looking in a mirror, you're looking behind you and you're not looking ahead of you. So 
just make sure you don't focus on your mirrors too long. 75. Convex mirrors show a wider area, area than flat mirrors. So convex mirrors show a wider area than flat mirrors. But they also make everything seem farther away than it really is. 76. Two of the three good rules for using turn signals are signal early and signal continuously. 77. A good rule for using turn signals is if you don't have self-canceling signals, don't forget to turn off the turn signals. 78. When you need to slow down, you may want to warn drivers behind you by tapping lightly on the brake pedal to flash the brake lights. 79. Because of the size of your vehicle, you may wish to flash your brake lights to remind drivers behind you of hazards that you see ahead. So again, 79. Because of the size of your vehicle, you may wish to flash your brake lights to remind drivers behind you of hazards that you see ahead. 80. To make a right turn with a large vehicle, you may have to go slower than many car drivers would expect. 81. If you have to stop your vehicle in the road to load cargo or passengers, you should flash your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. 82. When you help out other drivers by signaling, when is it safe for them to pass? This is important. Never signal to let others know it is safe to pass. 83. Whenever you are about to pass a vehicle, pedestrian or bicyclist, you should assume that they have not seen you. 84. At dusk or dawn or in rain or snow, when it is hard for others to see you, you might turn on your low beam headlights. So, turn on your low beam headlights if it's hard for others to see you at dusk, dawn, or in rain or snow. 85. If you have to set out warning reflective triangles by the highway, you should hold them between yourself and oncoming traffic. 86. Slightly melting uh, will make ice wet. Which is more slippery? Wet ice is definitely more slippery. 87. Why do empty trucks usually require greater stopping distance? distances. Empty trucks can bounce and lock their wheels. 88. Empty buses may not require more stopping distance than loaded buses because they usually have as much braking power when empty as when loaded. 89. What is black ice? Black ice is a thin layer of ice so clear that you can see the road underneath it. 90. Which is a danger when traveling alongside other vehicles? You may be trapped when you need to change lanes. 91. The amount of space you need to cross or enter traffic is affected by the weight of your load. Again, 91. The amount of space you need to cross or to enter traffic is affected by the weight of your load. 92. If a vehicle is coming towards you, has on high beams, you should 
Keep your lights on low beam and look off to the right. Again, 92. If a vehicle that is coming towards you has on high beams, you should keep your lights on low beam and look off to the right. 93. You should use your high beam headlights whenever you can and when the law allows it. 94. Before putting tire chains on your vehicle, you should check to be sure that the chains have no broken hooks or cross links or bent or broken chains. Side chains, that is, bent or broken side chains. 95. Roads usually become more slippery when the temperature has risen to the melt, uh, pardon me, the temperature has written, risen to the point where the ice melt, the ice begins to melt. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't read that very well, but let's try it again. 95. Roads usually become more slippery when the temperature has risen to the point where the ice begins to melt. 96. Antifreeze is effective, question mark, uh, under hot conditions as well as cold conditions. So I guess they're saying, when is antifreeze effective? under hot conditions as well as with cold conditions. 97. With a pressurized cooling system you should not remove the radiator cap until the system has cooled. 98. What should you do before driving if you are feeling drowsy? Get some sleep. 99. Since air pressure increases with temperature increases you should leave the tires alone since the air pressure will decrease when the tires cool off when the tires cool off okay again since not air so they're giving you the reason since air pressure increases with temperature increases you should leave the tires alone since the air pressure will decrease when the tires cool off and finally 100 speed limits that are posted at freeway off ramps may not be safe speeds for larger vehicles or heavy heavily loaded vehicles again speed limits that are posted at freeway off ramps may not be safe speeds for larger vehicles or heavily loaded vehicles all right we're done and thank you for watching we'll uh, are working on the next video. All right, thank you so much and have a great day.